Time, 5 a.m., Saturday, July 7th, in California. Place, a point in space near Jupiter, nearly 600 million miles from the Earth. The next 90 hours will be compressed into a three-minute ride through the Jovian system aboard Voyager 2. The computer shows the precise orbits of the moons Io, Europa, and Ganymede as they circle Jupiter in the distance. Callisto, the outermost and darkest of the planet-sized Galilean satellites, is our first target. The Voyager cameras will view the ice-crusted moon from 133,000 miles, about 34 hours before Jupiter encounter. The spacecraft rolls nearly a full circle for instrument alignment and particle measurements. Each moon always keeps the same side toward Jupiter, and Voyager 1 saw those sides as it flew away from Jupiter. But Voyager 2 observes the moons approaching Jupiter and sees their opposite faces. Here the field of view zooms out for a pan over to Jupiter, still a million miles and 28 hours away. The great red spot, location of enormous atmospheric turbulence comes into view, and then the faint rings of particles discovered in March by Voyager 1 as the spacecraft crosses the equatorial plane. Another pan through space, this time to giant Ganymede, and a view from within 40,000 miles. The appearance of Jupiter's atmosphere and the satellite surfaces are derived from Voyager 1 pictures. Over to the intriguing satellite Europa, laced with long, straight, intersecting fractures. Voyager 2 pictures of Europa may be 10 times as detailed as those obtained in March. Midday, July 9th, just a few hours before close encounter with Jupiter, the spacecraft cameras swing back to the huge planet, where lightning bolts flash in the atmosphere. Minutes after encounter, Io emerges at left from behind Jupiter. And for the next few hours, Voyager will monitor volcanic activity on Io, first detected by Voyager 1. That discovery was one of the most important scientific finds in the brief history of planetary exploration. On Jupiter's night side, lightning and auroral phenomena will be observed. The spacecraft is maneuvered to observe atmospheric effects on the radio signal and on solar radiation as first the Earth and then the Sun disappear at left behind the planet and then, one after the other, emerge from occultation. Voyager 2 will continue studying Jupiter until late August and follow Voyager 1 on the long journey to Saturn.